What are vegan sources of vitamin B12? There aren't many, which is why vitamin B12 is sort of notoriously hard to get on a vegetarian or vegan diet. It's why there are so many plant-based foods that are fortified with vitamin B12, and why if you are not consuming those foods regularly, it's beneficial to talk to your doctor about whether or not they recommend a vitamin B12 supplement for you. But here are five vegan food sources of vitamin B12 going from the food that has the smallest amount to the food that actually is an impressively good source of vitamin B12. Coming in at number five is cremini mushrooms and portobello mushrooms have a, a similar amount, which is about a thousandth of a microgram per hundred grams. So you would need to consume about six kilograms of cremini mushrooms to hit the daily value of vitamin B12. That's like 70 cups of sliced cremini mushrooms. Coming in at number four is tempeh, which has about seven one thousandths of a microgram per hundred grams. So you only need to consume 1.8 kilos of tempeh, which is about 18 cups of it diced to hit the daily value of vitamin B12. Number three is natto, which has about 3.7 micrograms of vitamin B12 per 100 grams. So it would only take about two cups of natto to hit the daily value of vitamin B12. Number two is fortified nutritional yeast. It does have to be specifically fortified with vitamin B12, so make sure to check the label. And the exact vitamin B12 content varies by brand, but typically about a heaping teaspoon will get you the daily value of vitamin B12. And the number one best vegan food source of vitamin B12, and the, the one we're actually all here for, is purple laver seaweed, the type of seaweed used to make nori sheets. Yes, toasted nori is an excellent vegan source of vitamin B12, containing something like 50 micrograms of vitamin B12 per 100 grams, which means it only takes about one and a half sheets of nori to hit the daily value of vitamin B12 which I think is very cool. And I would like to see somebody test more different types of algae to see if there's other algae varieties that are equally as good sources of vitamin B12. Like that would be really interesting.